Hi, thanks for stopping in. So you want to learn how to play craps? Have you ever walked in a casino and hear people hollering and yelling and screaming to the top of their lungs, giving each other high fives? Complete strangers. Then you go check it out and you look at the table. It looks like something really complicated. All these chips, different colors, dice, money coming and going. A stick moving around like he's trying to hit somebody's hand. Pretty intimidating, isn't it? Well, it was intimidating to me until I started learning the game. And for the most part, it's pretty easy and it's really fun. If you've never played it and you learn how to play it, it could be really exciting. The first rule, as you know, is you don't want to play with money you can't afford to lose. Okay, so let's learn how to play. When you walk up to the table, you'll see four men from the casino working there. If you look at the chart here, the top center portion there, you'll see the box man. The box man is usually sitting down. He's more experienced than the other three guys. He's constantly watching what's going on, the types of bets, if they're betting correctly, if the dealers and the stick man are doing their job. If he sees something not going right, he'll tell the dealer or the stick man to correct it. 99.9% .9 of the time, the box man is dressed to the nines. He's usually in a suit. The dealers and the stick man, if they have any question, they go to the box man. The box man is the boss. He usually stays there for longer times than the dealers and the stick man. The stick men rotate. If you look on the upper right hand corner, that dealer will rotate to the stick man position. So you have a new dealer coming in. So he takes over the guy on the upper right hand side. That dealer then moves to the stick man position and takes over the stick man's job. The stick man then moves to the upper left hand corner to that dealer position while that dealer goes and takes a break. This happens approximately every half an hour to an hour. Everybody switches except the box man. The box man stays. The box man is the guy that the dealers and the stick man, when you come in and play and you lay your money down, the dealers and the stick man give the money to the box man. Okay, let's talk about the basic game. Let me break it down to you so it's fairly easy. Let's say I had the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I told you, pick one number. Let's say you pick the number 6. Now I hand you two dice and say roll as many times until you get a 6. Let's say you roll once, twice, three times, four times, the fifth time, now you roll a six, and you win. Pretty simple, huh? Now, if the rules were like this, you'd be winning a lot of money, but the casinos don't make money by you winning. They make money by you losing, so they try to change the odds. So now, okay, so this is what they did. What they did was they gave you less numbers, which is the four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten, and they said, when you throw the dice the first time, that's going to be your point number. In other words, let's say you throw the dice and you come up with an 8. That's your point. You don't choose the point. The dice chooses for you on the first roll. Okay? So you get the dice, you throw them, and let's say an 8 comes up. That's your point. For you to win you have to roll an 8 again, this, you know, a second time. So you keep rolling until you have an 8. Let's say you roll once, twice, and you roll an 8, you won. But they added some additional rules. They said, okay, on the first roll, when you're trying to establish a point, because that's what you're doing, is trying to establish a point, on the first roll, if you roll a 7 or 11 on the first roll, you automatically win. So let's say, for instance, because a 7 and 11 is not in those numbers, correct? So let's say the first roll you, uh, you throw is a 7, you win. If you roll 11, you win. 
But if you on the first roll, if you throw a two, a three, or a twelve, you lose. Again, if you roll a two on the first time you roll, if you roll a two, three, or a twelve, you lose. Okay, so you've established a point, meaning that on the first roll you didn't hit a 7 or 11, and you didn't lose with a 2, 3, and a 12. So let's say you got the number 8. So 8 is your point. After you establish the point, and you're trying to roll to hit your point, in this case the 8, if you roll a 7 before you hit the 8, you lose. So, while you're rolling one, two, three times to get the eight, if you hit a seven, you lose. And essentially, that's the game. Now, there's more to it, and we'll get into it, but that's essentially the game. Okay? So, let's go to the craps table now. Okay, so when you walk up to a craps table, this is kind of what you're going to see. 90% of the craps tables are going to look like this. They change from design, but essentially they all look the same. I know it looks a little intimidating, but if you look at it, you can see on top the numbers like we talked about before. The 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. So you see that up on the upper left hand side. You can also see it on the right hand side. So you're wondering why do they have two numbers or two sets of numbers? What you're seeing essentially is two game boards or or two sides. You have a left side and a right side. And what it is, is two games being played at the same time. Or two areas being played at the same time. That's why you have two dealers, one on the left and one on the right of the box man in this reverse view. They're watching each side. So I know this looks a little intimidating, so what I'm going to do is we're only going to show you half the board. Because when you play, you're only looking at half the board. Okay, when you walk up to a table, one of the first things you want to look for is to find out what the minimum bets you're allowed to make at that table. Typically, there are $5 tables, $10 tables, $25 tables, and $50 tables, and on up. So what you're looking for is a $5 table. So what you're looking for is a card or a placard somewhere inside the table, you see around the, where the two dealers or the box man are sitting and it kind of looks like this it'll say craps table limit minimum and it'll say uh it'll say five dollar minimum it'll say 10 25 and so on and it'll also say what your maximum bet is and then it'll have the odds which are on the bottom three times odds four times odds five times odds and we'll get into that later but that's what you're looking for is you want to find out the what the minimum bet is Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to walk up to the table and we're going to give the dealer our uh, money so we can play. Uh, we're going to be standing on the left side of the table, which would be the right side of the box man. Okay, when should you put your money down? What you're looking for is that white puck. When that puck is on, don't put your money down because the game is still in play. What you want to do is wait till it goes off. Once it's off, you can put your money down. Alright, so we're going to get our cash, and we're going to put it right at the cum bar there, the cum area. We're giving him 200 cash. Then the dealer's going to take the cash, and he's going to hand it over to the box man. The box man then is going to grab the money, he's going to count it out so the cameras can see how much money you've given him, so there's a recording of it. Usually they give you $100 in nickels and four $25 um, chips. Once the box man sets your chips up, he hands them over to the dealer. Then the dealer then hands them over to you and he'll put them in the cum area. It's your responsibility to take the chips off the table and put them in the rack. Okay, this is something that wasn't taught to me in the very beginning. If I wanted to place a bet, where do I put the chips and where am I allowed to put my chips? This is the area where you can place your bets. It's sort of like a self-serve area. The 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10 area, 
that belongs to the dealer. You're not allowed to put any chips in that area. If you want to place a bet up there, you can put it in the come area and tell your dealer what kind of bet you want to place. And then there's the area on the far right bottom there. Those are the proposition bet areas. You don't want to put any chips there. Again, those are being watched by the stick man. If you want to place a bet there, just let the stick man know. Put the chips in the come area and he'll grab them and he'll place the bet that you want. Okay, so when do we know when it's our turn? Well, as you can see by the arrows, the game, the game moves in a clockwise motion and we're standing where that yellow dot is. So when do you know it's your turn? Well, it's when the guy on the right side of you hits a seven and loses. The stick man will tell you, are you playing or do you want to play? And you'll, of course, answer yes or no. This is where the choice you make could change your life forever with all the money you're going to win. Or it could turn out to be the biggest mistake in your life. Just kidding. Okay, we found a $5 table. We place a $5 chip on the pass line. The dealer now is going to slide over five dice. You're going to pick two dice out of the five. You can only use one hand to grab the dice. You can't use two hands. You always use one hand, even when you're shaking the dice. Okay, you got the dice in your hands and you're shaking them. Where do you throw them? Let me show you on this chart. Okay, currently we are the yellow dot. We're going to pick up the dice and we're going to throw them against the wall where the yellow arrow's at. If we were on the right side of the table, the red dot, we're going to throw it where the red arrow's at against the wall. When you throw the dice, it must hit the wall for it to count. So with all that said, now we can begin to play craps. We're going to put a $5 chip on the pass line. Why do we put it on the pass line? Well, 90% of the people play the pass line, and this is the reason why. Okay, if you look at this chart, you can see the dice, how many combinations it takes to make the number. So if you look at two, you can see there's only one way to make a two. If you look at three, there's two ways. Four, there's three ways. Five, there's four ways. Six, five ways. And the most is seven. There's six ways to make a seven. But then if you look at eight, there's less of a combination, which is five. Nine is four. Ten is three. Eleven is two. Twelve is one way. So you can see the many different ways. Now, if you remember the chart in the beginning, if you remember in the beginning, I said, on the first roll, if you roll a 7 or 11, you win. But if you roll a 2, 3, and a 12, you lose. Now let's go back to the chart. Okay, as you can see in the blue boxes, a 7 and an 11, you have 8 different ways or 8 chances of winning. Now look at the red boxes. You have 4 chances of losing. The red box, you can see there's 4 combinations to lose. But in the blue box, there's eight combinations to win. So your chances of winning are pretty high. Remember, this only applies to the first roll of the dice. If you don't hit the red box or the blue box, then you hit the other numbers, the four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10, and those are your point numbers. So that's why people play the pass line. There's a higher percentage of winning. And that's why if you hit a seven on the first roll, everybody's playing the pass line. If you win, they all win. And that's why they jump up and down because you won, which means they also won. Okay, we've got our chips. We place our pass line bet. Dealer has handed us five dice to pick out of. We pick out two and we're gonna roll. 7, 11, we win. 2, 3, and 12, we lose. The number is 10. The point is 10. The dealer moves the puck on the on position to 10. We roll again. 4, nothing. 6, nothing. Remember, we're trying to roll a uh, 10. 7, we lose. Dealer takes our chip. Puck goes off. 
and it goes to the next player to the left of me. So let's try it again. Pass line bit. Craps three, we lose. Dealer takes a chip, place another pass line bet. Nine. The point is nine. Okay, now we want to roll a nine. We don't want a seven because if we roll a seven, we lose. Five. Eight. Six. Eight. Nine, we win. Dieter plays this even money. Turns the puck off. It's our responsibility to take the chips off the table. Okay, we roll again. Remember, 7-Eleven, first roll wins. Two, three, 12, we lose. Eight. The point is eight. Dealer takes the puck, puts it on on, to signify that the point is eight. Three, craps, nothing. Two, craps, nothing. Five, nothing. Five, nothing. We want to hit an eight to win. If we hit a seven, we lose. Six, nothing. Five, nothing. Nine. Six. Nine. Nine, 10. Nine. Six. Five. Eleven. Nine. Eight, we win. Dealer pays us even money. Turns the puck off. Now you know how to play the basic game of craps. Now let's look at placing odds or taking odds. Have you ever been at a racetrack and you get a tip on a hot horse? Or you're at a casino and someone tells you that a uh, slot machine is paying out? So you go there to play that machine, hoping that uh, it does exactly what they said? Well, the same thing here with the pass line odds bet or taking odds. Taking the odds bet on the pass line is the best bet in the house. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to do a pass line bet. And what we need to do is establish a point. So let's say we roll a four. Dealer's going to move the puck from off to the on position on four. Now we can make our odds bet. We're going to put one unit behind our $5 pass line bet. And we roll, and let's say we roll a four and win, correct? What is the pay? On your pass line bet, you get paid even money. So you get $5. On your odds bet, you get paid two to one, so you get $10, two for every one. Okay. Once you've won, pick up your winnings. What if you put two units on the odds bet? What would that pay? The pass line bet gets paid even money, one to one, so that's $5. The odds bet, you get paid two to one. Two times two equals four. You have two units, so that's four units you get paid, which is $20. Now, what if we bet three units? Well, as you know, the pass line bet pays one to one, so that's $5. The odds bet gets paid two to one, so two times three is six, so that's six units. Six yeah. units equals $30. You won $30. Don't forget to take your chips off the table. Now, what if you wanted to put four chips on the table? Can you do that? 
No, you can't. Why not? Because the casino won't let you. Well, how do you know that? Well, do you remember the chart in the very beginning that we were looking at? This one? If you look on the chart on the bottom left where it says three times, four times, five times odds, that's what it's referring to. The three applies to the four and the ten. The four applies to the five and the nine. And the five times applies to the six and eight. What does it mean? It means the max odds you can play on the 4 and the 10 is 3 times. How can I play more money on the 4 and 10? Is there any way of doing that? Well, yes you can. Instead of betting 1 unit on the pass line, bet 2 units instead. And what that's going to do is give you double times the odds, 2 times the odds. So now 2 times 3 is 6. 6 is the max odds you can have on 2 units. What does it pay? Well, it pays even money on the pass line, so that's $10. Okay, on the odds bet, it's 2 to 1, so you have 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 times 5 equals $60. You won $60. Okay, here's another way to look at it. I put this simple spreadsheet together. Um, it's the pass line odds bets you would place on the 4 and 10. Remember, max is odds you can play is 3 times. So, you have one unit, meaning the $5 that you initially put on the pass line, okay? So because you have one unit, that allows you to bet max up to three times. That's this here, three times. But we're only going to, you know, just for teaching purposes, we're going to put one unit down. So that's the one unit. We're going to have one unit here, one $5. That's this here. One unit equals $5. So the odds on the 4 and 10 are 2 to 1. So 2 times your bet. So 2 times 5 equals 10. If you put down 2 units, which is $10, it's 2 times 10 equals 20. That's if you put 2 units, 2 $5 chips here. If we put 3, Three chips equals fifteen dollars, so you would have three chips here, and that would equal fifteen dollars. It pays two to one, so if we won, it would pay two times fifteen equals thirty. So hopefully this kind of shows you what what the uh, breakdown is on the taking the odds on the pass line. Okay, so now we were talking about if you wanted to increase that, so you would instead of putting one unit here on the pass line you would put two units. So let's change this to two and see what happens. Now that we change this to two units, would it be $10? It would be two times one would be two. So you'd have two units here. And those two units would equal $10. So two times 10 equals 20. Two times two units is four. So four times five dollars is twenty dollars correct so now two times twenty equals forty and that's what you would win if you put four chips down because you now you're using two units so now if you move on two times three originally it was three but now you doubled it so now this turns into six so two times uh, three is six Six five dollar chips down here equals thirty dollars, right? Okay, if you won, the payoff would be two times thirty equals sixty. And then you could you know, I mean you can go as high as you want, whatever your the table's max bets is, and I think we wrote down like three thousand dollars. You can bet to a maximum of three dollars, you know, whatever combination. That's why you put this to three. See what happens. You know, these bets just keep going up. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay, now let's learn how to take odds on the 5 and 9. Okay, we've established the point, 5. These rules also apply to the 9. So, since we have a single bet on the pass line, can we put one chip or one unit of $5 behind the pass line? Well, you could, but the odds are 3 to 2. 
or in simple math, one and a half. One and a half times your bet. So if, if you look at this chart, so you can see on this chart here, taking odds on the five and nine, the odds are three to two, or in simple math, one and a half times your bet. So if you bet five dollars or one unit, five times one and a half equals 750. The casino doesn't give out change, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna round it down to seven dollars. So you're gonna lose 50 cents. So the better bet is to bet six dollars. Six and a half times one and a half equals nine. So it's the better bet. You don't lose any money. Okay, now these rules, remember, also apply to the nine. So we've established our point, which is the five. We've put our odds bet, or we're taking odds, and that's the six dollars. And we roll, and we hit a five, and we win. Now what does this pay? Well, your five and nine pays even money on the pass line and your single unit of six dollars pays nine dollars yeah. okay what if we played two units on the five and nine what would that pay well it would pay even money on the pass line and your two units of ten dollars would get paid fifteen dollars okay now what if we played three units well in order for you to get paid correctly you have to put down sixteen dollars now what would that pay? Well, it would pay even money on the pass line, and on your three units of $16, it would pay $24. Now, being the five and nine, we're allowed to play four times odds. So what if we put down four times odds? What would we get paid? Well, again, your pass line would get paid even money, and your four units of $20 gets paid $30. Okay, let's look at our spreadsheet now. Hopefully uh, this will break it down for you a little bit better so you get a better visual of what the numbers look like. So here's our 5 and 9. Okay. On the 5 and 9 we get 4 times odds. Okay, so if we bet 1 unit, remember 1 unit here, which is $5. If we place 1 unit, we remember we had to use $6 and that's where the $6 is, goes here behind the line. So one and a half times the bet so 1.5 times 6 equals 9 so the payout is 9 okay so if we do two units two units would be 10 okay 1.5 times 10 equals 15 okay if we use three units when we say three units it would be 16 dollars here Okay, so it'll be uh, uh, three fives and a one. Okay, three units equals 16. We have to pay 16, that way we get an even number. Okay, on the payout here. So 1.5 times 16 equals 24. Now, like I was saying, the five and nine allows us not three times but four times odds. So we get a one more chip we get to add in. So for one unit we can do four chi four, um, four units. So four units equals twenty dollars. Four times five equals twenty. Okay. So one and a half times twenty equals thirty. Okay. And the same thing now if we wanted to bet you know to if we wanted to win more or play more odds, you know, we would have to put two units or ten dollars here on the pass line so if we did that let's just change this number here okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to change this these units to from one to two again instead of putting five dollars we're going to put ten dollars two units here on the pass line okay so if we move this to two units see how this increases now okay so we're allowed two units remember we had to pay the six dollars now two times six equals twelve okay so the the payout on that would be one and a half times twelve equals eighteen okay so two units times two 
is four, so five dollars, four times five is ten. I mean, excuse me, twenty. So one and a half times twenty equals thirty. Okay. So, and if we want to increase this, obviously, if we go to three, those odds, you know, I mean that, you know, you'd have to come up with more money to get more of a payout. So hopefully this explains it a little bit easier. Okay, now we're going to learn how to take odds on the last group of numbers, the 6 and the 8. With the 6 and the 8, this time we get 5 times the odds. This one's pretty simple. This bet pays 6 to 5. For every $5, it pays $6. Now, we put our $5 on the pass line, which is one unit. We roll, we get a 6. 6 is our point. Now we put our odds bet and we put a $5 chip behind the line. What does it pay? The single unit odds bet for the 6 and 8 pays even money on the pass line and the single unit odds bet gets paid $6. Now, what if you would have taken odds on two units? What does that pay? Well, again, it pays even money on the pass line and for your two units, it pays $12. As you can see, these odds pay in increments of 6. Now, let's look at as if we taken odds with three units fifteen dollars well again it pays even money on the pass line and oh. with your three units it pays eighteen okay now what does four units pay well again the pass line gets even money and four chips four times six is twenty four you win twenty four dollars now the six and the eight are the only numbers that you get five times odds. So, what does it pay? Well, the pass line gets even money, and five times six, you win $30. Once again, don't forget to pick up your chips. Okay, so let's look at the spreadsheet again with the six and eight. Here's our six and eight. Uh, the odds are five times. So you're allowed five times for one unit. So here's one unit. It pays, the odds are six to five, which means for every five dollars you put down, it pays six. So we're going to play, we, you know, we, we've got a single unit here, which would be on the pass line. So we're going to play one unit on the odds bet of five dollars, six times one, equals six and that's what you would get paid so for two units you'd have to put down ten dollars so two times six equals twelve twelve is what you would win if you put down three units which would be fifteen dollars it'd be three times six equals eighteen and that's what you would get paid if you put down four units, it would be twenty dollars. So four times six equals twenty-four, and that's what you would win. Now, if you paid, if you played five units, it'd be five times six, or it'd be five times five dollars, which would be twenty-five dollars. So five times six equals thirty, and that's what you would win. Now again, this is for single, uh, for a single unit. The odds for a single unit. And again, we get five times the odds. So, if you wanted to bet more money, or put down more money, we would have to change the units up here. We would have to put two chips. So, let's see what happens when we put two chips. So we change that to two. So we change this to two. Now, you can see how much increase. So, two units of one. So, two times one is two. So, two times five is ten. So, it would pay twelve dollars. So, it'd be, this would be really two here. So, two times six is twelve. Two times two is four. So 4 times 5 is 20, so 4 times 6 is 24. So 2 times 3 would be 6, 
So 6 times 5 equals 30. That's what you would put down for the bet. Okay. So 6 times 6 is 36. Okay. So now we got 4 times, uh, excuse me, 2 times 4 Close. equals 8. So 8 times 5 is $40. You would have to put $40 down. Okay. So now, 8 times 6 is 48. That's what you would win. So now we go to 2 times 5 is 10. So 10 times 5 is $50 you would put down for the odds bet. Your max odds bet for 2 units would be $50. Okay, so 10 times 6 equals 60. Of course, you know, again, if you want to bet more money, depending on what your table allows, I think I put down $3,000. So, you know, you can increase these um, units here. Let's say you, you, we put three chips. Okay, let's move this to three. So now you can see. Okay, so three times five is 15. 15 times five is 75. So 15 times six you would win $90 out of your $75 bet. Okay. Anyway, again, I hope this, you know, kind of helps you and break it down. When I did this visually, I understood more about what was going on with the, with the odds bets. So hopefully this helps. Okay, let's put what we've learned and see how it applies to the game. Again, uh, we're going to play the uh, pass line and we're going to take bets so we're going to just, you know, play $5. So we're going to place $5 on the pass line. We roll. You can see we had a $1,000 starting bank here. So we get a 9. So the 9, uh, we're going to wager $5 and 6 so we can get paid 9. And we're just doing one. You got one unit, so we're just going to do one unit there. We're going to roll. Uh, we got an 8, we're going to roll again, we got a 7, we lost. That's okay. Oh, let's clear it out, we're going to put $5 on the pass line, we roll, we got a 6. 6, uh, we're going to place the odds bet there, let's say max odds is 25, let's do max odds. It's $25 on the odds, roll. 8, we roll 12, 3 craps, 8, 8, 9, 8, a lot of eights, 7 out, we lost, okay, let's try it again, hmm, 7, we won, first roll, remember 7 and 11 on the first roll wins, 2, 3, and 12, we lose. 10. 6. Let's get, let's get some odds up there. Since this is playing double odds, let's go max odds, and they only allow 15. Three times, remember, the odds on the 4 and 10. Okay, we got a 5. We got an 8. A lot of 8s. We got a nine, a lot of eights and nines. There's our six, we missed. Craps two, seven out. Okay. Try it again. Four. Let's get it all up there. Oh, Sorry, guys. Eight. Sorry, we couldn't win. Nine. Four, we won. So we won the five dollars and two times odds. We had uh, fifteen, so two times fifteen is thirty. So we won thirty dollars on that one. So we won thirty-five. Okay, you can see what we won here. Okay, so let's get another five dollars down. We're, looks like we're down twenty-five bucks. Okay, we won again. We won five dollars because we seven eleven first roll wins. Okay, we got an eight. Uh, 
let's go ahead and at least put uh, one odd on there. Oh, we won. Cool, we won $11 on that one. Okay, we're down just four bucks. Okay, let's roll. Ten, that's another tough one, but let's try it. Let's get some, get some max odds on that. Fifteen. Roll. Seven out. Bummer. Let's try it again. Six. Let's get max odds on there, which is twenty-five. Five. Seven out again. Sheesh. Okay, let's again. Four. Let's get max odds up there. <coughs> Four we won. One thirty-five. We're down what uh, nineteen bucks. Okay, let's get it up there again. Four. Let's try it again. Four. <laughs> Thirty-five dollars. We're up sixteen bucks. Okay. Seven. We won on the first roll. We're up twenty-one bucks. Six. Let's go max odds on six, which is twenty-five. Ooh, seven out. Okay, that's all right. Four. No, oh, excuse me, five. Let's get max odds on there. You don't have to play max odds. You can pay one, two, or three. But we're just playing this. So we'll just go max. No, we'll max it out. Oh, by the way, do not play online gambling because you'll never win. Um, it's rare that you'll win. I'm not saying you don't win. It's just that there's more people losing on there than winning uh, what you want to do is go into a brick and mortar um, casino where it's regulated they have inspectors coming in making sure everything is being done correctly state inspectors so don't ever play online craps um, you, you know of course we're just here practicing and playing but if you're seriously going to play craps practice here but don't go online and put money go to a brick and mortar casino you have better odds there better chances of winning okay let's roll three craps three ten eight we're looking for this five and we don't want a seven four we're close six seven out bummer Ten. So get max odds on there. Fifteen. So, oops, so that again. Craps two. Lost. Oh, craps two. <laughs> Lost. Oh, Eleven we won. Seven we won. Craps three we lost. Oh, yeah. So we won. First roll seven. Eight. Point is eight. So let's get max odds up there. Yeah, let's max odds. Ten. Six. Four. Eight. We won. We won thirty-five bucks. Cool. So now we're just down twenty. 12, we won, oh we lost, excuse me, 2, 3, and 12 you lose on the first roll. 8's our point, let's go max odds. That's max odds. 2, 9, 9, a lot of 9's. We won, oh, $35, we're up $11. Five. That's going to be a tough one, I think. But we'll play it anyway. Oh, hey, we won that one. Awesome. We're up fi almost 50 bucks. Eight. Well, we've been hitting eights. 
So let's go ahead and max odds. 10. 9. 8. We won it. Another $35. We're up 81 bucks. Ooh, 7. We won on the first roll. Nice. 5. That's going to be a tough one, but we won the last time. So let's go max odds. 7 out. Bummer. Okay, 7 we won on the first roll. Nice. 8. Oh, gosh. Again, a little tough, but we've been hit 8s and 9s. Ooh, 7 out. Bummer. 9. Okay, 9. Shoot. We should have played 2 chips there. But we wouldn't have known, but we'll play max odds anyway. Ooh, 7 out. Bummer. Craps three. It's pretty much eight all our wins so far. About even now. Five. Let's go max odds. Two. Nine. Six. Nine. Let's see, there's those nines. Seven out. Bummer. So you can see how luck ebbs and flows. Seven we won. Perhaps three out. Nine. Those are nine. <coughs> Max odds. Eleven. Six. Four. Three. Nine. We won. I got that one. Cool. Sixteen dollars. Oops. Wrong one. Quick. Roll. Nine. Let's get our odds up there. Ooh, seven out. It happens. Six. Another should be an easy number because there's more ways to make a six and eight than there is a five and nine and a four and ten. So the odds are on in our favor except for the seven. The seven um, has six ways of making a seven. The six and eight has five ways of making a six and eight. We want it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're up twenty six bucks. So anyway, you could see, you know, I mean go online, there's a lot of these practice uh, online websites. Okay guys, this is how you play basic craps, the pass line bet, and how to take odds on the pass line. To get really good takes a lot of practice. There's a bunch of different strategies and there's more to playing craps. So please stay tuned. I have other videos coming out. Please subscribe and of course like. Again, I have more videos coming out, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you at my next video.